I like to start each day uh, running through the woods uh, just outside of Bristol, and I find that um, you know the clean air and the the exercise uh, clears my mind, uh, which then invariably turns to uh, to quantum computing, which um, is the uh, subject that I pursue in my my lab at the university. As I look at the countryside around me, I think about you know some of the applications for quantum computing that can help preserve that countryside and uh, you know our life within it. You know one of the um, urgent problems that the world faces is uh, CO2 in the atmosphere and uh, designing a catalyst that could efficiently uh, extract CO2 directly from the atmosphere is the type of problem that a quantum computer would be able to help with. Bristol uh, is a wonderful place, both the university and the city. The city itself is just a wonderful hub of uh, scientific, technological, artistic, musical uh, innovation, and it's a lovely city to live in. In 1994, when I was a second year undergraduate student, um, New Scientist had a cover feature on quantum computing and it described the possibility for a quantum computer to bring about a new revolution akin to the agricultural, industrial or digital revolutions that we'd already had. And I was pretty well hooked from that point on. A quantum computer is um, a device that is a, it's a fundamentally new paradigm for computation. You know, we might have a problem like, uh, like factoring where you know, it takes a conventional computer billions of years to spit out an answer in a quantum computer minutes. Making a quantum computer is an immense challenge because we need of order a million quantum bits or qubits as we call them, which are the equivalent of the transistors in a conventional computer. Quantum computing promises to touch on pretty well every aspect of our lives, society and economy, uh, ranging from the design of new materials, new pharmaceuticals, new clean energy devices. I think the ERC is the world's premier organisation for funding frontier research and the funding of that frontier research is absolutely critical. It's that exact frontier research that gave us the transistor that led to the computer that enabled the digital revolution that we're still in the midst of today. The computer revolution is still very much to unfold. I think within a decade we're going to start to see the world transformed by the benefits of quantum computing.